Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Carol the Diva. Today I'm gonna be installing a wig. <laughs> I bet you thought it was a box braid tutorial. Nah, it's a box braid wig tutorial. That's what it is. I have my stocking cap on already, so let's jump right into it. The wig I'm gonna be installing today is from this company called We Queen, and this is a company I've worked with before. With the wig, I got this stocking cap. The expression on my face tells it all. I was very excited to see that they sent me this container of hair jewelry. I also got this silk bag that I could store my hair in when I'm not wearing it. <laughs> and this is the wig guys. It's an invisible box braid lace wig. I mean, I've tried box braid wigs before, but it was nothing like this one. This one right here is a game changer and you guys will see for yourself. It is not lace all through. It's only lace in the front and that was perfectly fine with me. I'm going to go ahead and add some foundation on the lace since it's not pre-bleached and I'm going to also add some on my stocking cap. Now I'm going to go ahead and clean the foundation of my forehead so the lace will have something to grip onto and to do so I'm using some rubbing alcohol. So I just realized that the wig has a elastic band inside of it and do you know what that means? This means I could wear the wig without any extra support to keep it onto my head. No got to be glued. No lace glue, nothing, just the elastic band that it comes with. And here I am putting the wig on for the first time to see what else I need to do to it. Already you can see how tightly the lace is on my head. I could barely get my finger under it. So that alone should tell you, you could wear this wig without any form of glue. I went ahead anyway and used my got to be glued free spray to hold it down just because I had plans on going somewhere for the weekend. So that's the only reason why I did that because I know I couldn't get away without using any got to be glued free spray at all. So as usual, I'm going to go ahead and cut this little flap that's hanging over my ears and on this wig is not a lot so I'm just going to cut this little piece off to make it fit properly around my ear. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. Now that I got the wig exactly where I want it, I'm going to pull all these little baby hair down so I don't spray none of the got to be glue free spray on them. Now I'm going to go ahead and spray this baby on because this is what's going to hold it in place exactly where I want it and keep it there for the time that I wear it.
Now I'm using my blow dryer on the cool setting to dry it as much as I possibly can. The free spray is dry now and it's holding my wig just how I want it. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the lace off of it. Before I cut the lace off, I make sure to brush all those little baby hair back into the braids just so I don't cut none of them. Can y'all see how hard it is for me getting the scissors under the lace? Yo, that baby was sitting on my forehead like it wasn't going nowhere. Like, you best believe you could wear this wig without any glue and you got to be glue free spray. I'm not kidding. Now it's time to slay these edges to make it look as natural as I possibly can. Before I lay them down, I'm going to trim them a little bit using this eyebrow razor because some of them is a little bit too long. Another thing you could do is you could pluck it to make it a little bit thinner, but I'm going to leave it just the way it is. I'm just going to shorten them. To slick them down as usual, I'm going to be using my foam wrap lotion from BTL. And with that, I'm going to be using this edge comb to mold them exactly how I want them. Now I'm going to tie them down and allow them to dry in place and while they're drying I'm going to go ahead and do my makeup and then I'll be back with the finished look. And this is the finished look my darlings. What do y'all think? Isn't she lovely? Isn't she beautiful? I am just so in love with this unit. Imagine I'm wearing box braids and I didn't have to spend hours doing them and I actually really like them. And the best part is they will never grow out. I will never have to redo them. They'll stay the same every time I put it on. Definitely shop Wee Queen for your box braid lace wig. And just in case you're one of those people who are scared of gluing your wigs on and stuff like that, don't worry, you don't have to glue this one on, you can wear it without the glue. The length also is perfect and I could style it like, you know, I could put it in a bag, let some down in the front, you know, I could do a few style with it. I just didn't do any on camera, but while I was wearing it, I did change it up a little bit. All the information on the hair will be down in the description box, so definitely do check that out just in case you're interested in getting one for yourself. If you find this video helpful, definitely give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. Also, if this is your first time on my channel, I would love it if you would subscribe and hit the notification bell so you will be notified whenever I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!